I bet you've seen this dance challenge before. This one. It has gone crazy on TikTok, YouTube, wherever. It's there and people are trying to replicate the dance and as a result, the song itself has become a worldwide hit. This is the story of the hardest dance challenge ever. Buckle up, this is the no BS version. A good starting point would be to ask where did this dance challenge start? The Cholabam dance challenge originated from the song Cholabam by Tito M and Yapi featuring Snare and EQ, which is an Amba Piano song. This clip that I played for you earlier, this one, that's it. Interestingly, there have been numerous claims that these three guys weren't even dancing to this song originally. They were dancing to another song altogether, but someone dubbed over that and put Chalabam and the clip started to get distributed on social and went viral. Talk about a lucky break, right place, right time, I don't know. At that point, the universe was telling Tito M, Yapi, Sne, and EQ that their lives were about to change. The song was officially released on February 23rd, 2024, and it's getting about 300,000 streams a day, and it's going up every week. At the time of recording this video, it has over 7 billion views on TikTok, with 5 million individual creations using the audio brah that's bananas ridiculous and it has already crossed 40 million streams across all streaming platforms with 12 million streams on spotify and 2.2 million shazams life-changing success if you ask me to most people this looks like an overnight success story anyway but to be fair tito m for example was on the huge imnandi lento by Melon sleazy stavis the dj team and express from last year which was a more localized hit in south africa but still huge considering huge track when you peel the layers you realize for every song that goes viral for a producer or an artist or whatever there's likely many other songs released prior that we as fans might not know or that don't even make a dent when it comes to the analytics or anything like that. And hence they say an overnight success could be five years in the making and it could include other hits that are not quite as viral as the one that people are focused on right now. The success of this song has seen two artists on Chalabam, Tito M and EQ specifically become some of the hottest Ama Piano artists around and the lads are on a steep trajectory. Now, let's talk about the dance challenge. One thing that immediately stands out is how hard it has been to find people across the world that can do the Cholabam dance challenge, at least as well as the three guys that did it first. And we've had renowned people and dancers jump on it too. Think about Robot, 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 aka Robot Boy, Davido, Tyke, Chris Brown, Tyler, Jason Derulo. I mean, guys, so many people have been doing it. And I do have to say, I think Jason Derulo tried it out, though I think his was terrible. But kudos to him for trying to put a spin on it, at least. And hundreds of thousands of people have attempted the dance and only a handful are good most are bad the question is why is this the hottest dance challenge in the world or what i've been thinking about this for weeks and i think a couple of things to note as to why it's so hard but before i get to that someone pointed out that the dance didn't really start with those three guys that went viral on social but is a South African hip hop dance, which was traced back to a music video which features Blackie, aka Somnyama, who actually does the dance. Fire artist, by the way, Blackie, salute. You know, I had to track the video down, and I think there's a case here yeah, for real, like for real, real. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below if you think Blackie is the one that started this dance, but we'll see. So why is the Chalabam dance challenge so hard to replicate? I think the secret source is in how the original video actually happened, first of all. 
contextually it was three people that were having a good time at home during a chilled out like get together or something just grooving to music and it's clear that they've done this dance together before but the way it was filmed and the way it, it just happened they eventually sort of synced up with one guy starting it the second guy joining in the third guy joining in and it was immaculate when you look at it from a South African culture perspective, many dancers from the country are effortless. You don't need to expend too much energy, you just need to groove to the music and flow with it. And this is where most non-South Africans fail at generally like South African dances because they try to actually dance it out and not flow to the groove, the groove of the music at like 35% effort, so to speak. You don't move your limbs too much, you know, try to do all this and that. So the Africans have been doing this since birth, so they know uh, how to do it. But in this case, even a good chunk of them couldn't really replicate the Chalabam dance as well as the three guys. That's when I knew it would be an iconic cultural moment for Ama Piano in general that will be talked about for many years to come, be that as it may. I think when we look at the second layer, the cultural context and energy of the Ama Piano scene, which is deeply rooted in South African music and dance traditions, it plays a role. There's a certain way it's done. There's a certain way South Africans dance. And it's hard to explain what it is, but if you've been exposed to that culture for long enough, you just realize like, yo, they do it a certain way. And those un unfamiliar with these cultural nuances outside of South Africa are simply doing what they're seeing. They're trying a dance challenge, which is normal, right? TikTok vibes and whatever, but generally you find it more challenging to capture the essence and the vibe of the dance correctly because they're also probably not, not even listening to the music. They're just trying to do the dance, but there's a connection between the music and the dance and that connection, that's hard to find. That's hard to replicate. To me, that's why we are not finding enough people doing the Chalabam dance challenge well. It is definitely technically challenging but to sum it up, I'd say this. There's too much energy and not enough vibe. You tell me what you think. Why do you think the original dance has been so hard to replicate? And do you have any dance challenge videos you think actually did it better than the rest and were as close to the original three guys as can be? Let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, that's it for me. My name is MJ Omoto, son of Zimbabwe, signing out. Peace. Day day. Who you are, the danger.